Welcome to my views and news. Some new stories from Ethiopia. Firstly, from Tigray, where the Brats in Gabriel Mikhail, Tigray's former president, appeared uh, at a gathering a few hours ago. Tigray TV has shared pictures. Is Dabratsian still relative when it comes to regional politics and uh, Tigray Addis Ababa relations? Secondly, uh, Amhara Prosperity Party is faced with internal crisis and some sources say in coming days there could be action against lower officials of Amhara Prosperity Party against lower ranks of Amhara PP. What is happening there? And thirdly, video of a protest from Frankfurt, Germany uh, in front of uh, US consulate there. A protest was held by Ethiopians. Firstly, we heard, sir, the Bratzian Gabriel Mikhail is Tigray's former president. He led Tigray in the two-year-long war. But we saw that uh, around a month ago, he was removed from his uh, position as Tigray uh, president because uh, Ethiopian federal government, PM Abi, refused to accept him as president in interim period. By the way, no one knows how long is this interim period. Will it to take uh, a month, a year, or several years for this interim setup to conduct elections and hand over power to the elected Tigray leader. No one knows. Uh, because uh, Pretoria deal is not being implemented according to the timeline mentioned in the deal. So this interim setup could go on for months, if not years. The Bratzian was removed. Federal government appointed Gata Choreda as Tigray interim government head. The Bratsian is still a major political figure in Tigray. Why? Because he is head of Tigray People's Liberation Front. And in the coming election, TPLF will participate as a party. And the party will be led by the Bratsian Gabriel Mikhail. And if TPLF wins the majority, the Bratzian could be back in office. It could happen. He is still very relevant when it comes to regional politics, not when it comes to relations between uh, Makale and Addis Ababa. He was seen a few hours ago with other Tigray government officials and military leaders in Makale. Uh, some Tigray interim government officials. Military commanders, uh, military uh, leaders like uh, Sadkan Gabratansai, Dabratsian, and religious leaders visited uh, a rehabilitation center in Makale. It's a physiotherapy center, I think, established for uh, injured, uh, paralyzed soldiers of Tigray uh, Defense Force, Tigray fighters who fought who injured and now they are uh, receiving treatment there. And uh, he, he was accompanied by Sadkan. Sadkan criticized, if you remember, uh, a plan for the establishment of interim government approved by, by uh, Debratsian. But two were seen uh, together today. It's good to see that this Tigray leadership uh, is on board when it comes to tackling uh, key issues, handling of the problems faced by Tigray's injured soldiers. It's a key issue because these youth fought for Tigray. So obviously, all should be united when it comes to making decisions about taking care of these soldiers, these fighters. And their uh, announcement was made for the formation of Tigray Patriots Council. This council will monitor that uh, uh, families of killed. Uh, Tigray fighters are being supported and that injured uh, Tigray fighters are receiving proper care and treatment. So it's a good step. One thing is missing and that is Tigray opposition. We are seeing uh, harmony between the military and TPLF. We are seeing harmony within TPLF gradually uh, developing though it's not uh, 
fair to say that TPLF is uh, completely united. We have seen lots of uh, uh, exchange of hard words between TPLF leaders. So it's difficult to say what is happening there. But at least uh, uh, they were seen together. The Bratzian interim government uh, officials, uh, Sadkan, where is opposition? Opposition is missing from key decision making mechanisms in Tigray. So that is no, not what true democracy is. While Sadkan uh, keeps on speaking for democratic changes in, in Tigray, I think you should ensure that opposition is somehow involved. It is taken on board. Tigray needs a robust opposition. Secondly, words, Amhara Prosperity Party is faced with an internal challenge from lower ranks of the party. Uh, we talked to a few people. Uh, they say that uh, low ranks of the party are uh, rebelling. They are criticizing the party, the federal government, the Amhara regional government. And it intensified uh, after the government decided to disarm, dismantle special force. There was already frustration within the party since last year when the federal government launched an operation against FANO. The new operation, new decision to disband special forces uh, has led to further alienation between low ranks of the party and party's top leadership. Girma Yishitila, uh, like uh, top leaders of the Prosperity Party, are not being uh, appreciated in Amhara for their siding with the government for dismantlement of special forces. And now reportedly, federal government, Amhara, uh, federal government and Prosperity Party, they are planning to take action. So in coming days, we could see some sort of action against lower ranks of Amhara Prosperity Party. We could see large-scale arrests too. Arrests are happening, by the way. Uh, but it's not that Amhara PP Party officials are being arrested in large numbers. But in coming days, either these Amhara Prosperity Party lower rank officials will be sidelined or you could see uh, arrests. It could happen because uh, Amhara protest movement is not over. Preparations are still being made in some parts of the Amhara region for second phase of this movement. And since uh, low ranks of Prosperity Party are supporting the demonstration, the preparations, that is why Prosperity Party has decided to clear its ranks. So in coming days, reportedly, action is planned against lower ranks of Amhara Prosperity Party. Thirdly, a video for you from Frankfurt, Germany. A protest was held by Ethiopians there, mainly Amharas. Uh, the target of the protest was the federal government, PM Abi, uh, Romia uh, Prosperity Party. Slogans chanted that Amharas are being massacred, that federal government, PM Abi, are killing Amharas. The RB should be sent to International Criminal Court. Genocide of Amharas is being committed. We have seen these protests across the world, small protests uh, that just shows that uh, uh, relations between Amhara diaspora and uh, PMRB and PMRB's government are deteriorating. Diaspora has been trying to back some sort of movement against the government uh, by mobilizing. Uh, diaspora community members, mobilizing people, religious leaders, uh, FANO uh, members, etc. in Ethiopia. Uh, and they, they managed to pose a challenge to the government when a few days ago there were massive demonstrations in the Amhara region. Uh, so this uh, Amhara diaspora attempt to discredit uh, federal government and the Prime Minister continues. Watch a clip from Frankfurt, Germany. The protest was held in front of American consulate in Frankfurt, Germany. Take a watch. Stop killing our people! 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 Stop kill